Good evening to you. Welcome to Channel 5's Eyewitness News Central. Last week, there was a report that a Rock Hill man had become somehow involved in the Martin Luther King murder, and tonight, Michael Brown is here to tell us that there is a new twist to it. Michael? Patrick, the latest report speaker, John Kaufman of Imperial, is the man who paid James Earl Ray to kill Martin Luther King. Now, Kaufman was short, stocky, and walked with a limp, which fits the description given to the FBI by a Rock Hill man who claims that Kaufman offered him money to kill King. Now, Kaufman lived in Imperial on Highway 67. We went there today looking for his wife. We were told that she's in Washington again, probably before the House Subcommittee on Assassinations. Some local people told us there were many rumors about this place, plus an old hotel that Kaufman once owned nearby. One man told us buyers allegedly shot pornographic stills there. Another said he entertained lavishly there, including some local politicians. We found a couple of people who tell us who tell us rather what they thought of him. Just a regular person, you know, he didn't quiet man, kind of did everything himself, and not really, you know, talk about regular things, fishing and stuff like that, never anything to do with anything. What was your impression of him? Pretty good, really. I, you know, like I said, when I was a kid, I went there and swam in the pool, and he treated me all right. Never had any problem with him. You saw him when he first got out of jail several times. How did he impress you? When you saw him, what, what did you think about him? Well, I was curious because I knew he had been in jail and wanted to know what kind of person he was. And uh, he was uh, uh, an old man in poor health, uh, about all I could, could say for him. Uh, kind of quiet and didn't cause much uh, stir in the community. Now, Kaufman was convicted in the late 60s, of course, on federal drug charges. He died a few years after that. We talked with a lawyer who handled his estate for his wife. He said that Kaufman considered himself to be quite a wheeler dealer, but left little in the bank to back it up. Kaufman apparently didn't excite too many people until he allegedly got rather involved in a plot to kill Martin Luther King. <laughs> 